Welcome to my channel. No, this is going to depend on which channel you see in this video. If you look at this video on coding with Viral, well, it explains how we get here. If you're looking at this on Viral, etc., then it also explains why we end up with Viral, etc. Previously, I had one channel, and it was mostly about coding. And that was called Vilito Exquisitos. And that name was just accidental, and I just never changed it. However, I realized that I wanted to post videos about other things. So in the middle of 2024, I put out a video saying that oh, I'll have two channels. One is going to be on Go alone, so Go-specific stuff, and then another is going to be about everything else, including programming in other languages, programming concept, tools for programming, but also my thoughts on um, you know, tech and all this other stuff. That was the idea. But I still wasn't happy after I proposed that. So then I realized that what I really want is to keep the channel called Vilito Exquistos that already has a number of topics about coding and coding related content. I'll just keep that and call it Coding with Veral. And it will remain a channel about just coding in general. And there are things that I still plan to do there, like use showing how to use AI to generate code and forms and implementing blockchain and get back to my embedded programming. So that is going to be coding with Veral. So if you are subscribed to Vilito.exquisitos or if you're subscribed to my channel where you see coding stuff, you're fine. You don't have to do anything else. Just the channel name would have changed from whatever it was before to now coding with Veral. And that's going to be the final name. I'm not going to change it. I also created a new channel called Veral Etc. And that's where I'm going to start posting content related to solar, owning EV, tech trends, my experience with trying to buy something called a yard robot. Oh, if that doesn't make any sense to you, well, I'll have some videos about that. So two channels going forward. How is that going to be laid out? Well, let's take the channel coding with Veral, for example. Within that channel, we already have a number of playlists. And you could think of each playlist as a collection of videos for a specific team or topic. So one playlist is actually called Go on the Run, and it's all about Go-related stuff. There's a playlist for NAT. There's a playlist for Pocket Base. And so for every sort of major topic, I'll have a playlist and then, of course, the set of videos for that. Similarly, if you think about the channel Veral, etc., if I'm talking about solar panels or solar, I'm going to have a playlist for solar. And if I'm talking about EVs, I'll have a playlist for EVs. And so I'm going to keep it organized that way. Now, for Coding with Veral, the permanent link is going to be at Coding with Veral, all one word, lowercase. So if you ever want to find it, it's just youtube.com forward slash at Coding with Veral. Just type that or give that to anyone else and they'll find the channel. Temporarily, channel may show up as Coding with Velito, but that is going to change. Again, depending on when you're watching this video, it might already have been changed. But you need not worry about that if you're already subscribed. This is just sort of like details, just letting you know what would happen or when you see things change. As for my Veral Etc. channel, it's already been created. YouTube.com forward slash at Veral ETC. And that's it. Please do me a favor. If you are subscribed to my Coding with Veral channel and you like my style and content I create, I think you're going to also like the content I'll be creating for Vrel, etc. So please do me a favor and go subscribe to Vrel ETC channel. Even if you don't see any content yet, subscribe and click the notification bell so that when I start posting videos there, you will get notified. Now, what is coming up next? The last set of actual videos that we did, coding related, was with Pocket Base. And that was showing you how we can use uh, this application to make our backend without having to write a ton of code. So I think what pairs nicely with that is to show you how to create front-end application easily so that you can create full stack applications and then you can get up and running very quickly. And so the first front-end um, tool I'm gonna look at is AppSmith. So look out for those set of videos on AppSmith. It's gonna be on my channel Coding with Veral. So yeah, those are gonna be the two channel, Coding with Veral and Veral etc. So see you in the next video, which is going to be on AppSmith. Take care, stay safe, bye.